Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this sweet little Hello Kitty granny square as per request of one of our lamps. I'm demonstrating it again with a, ra a rather thick yarn and a hook number 3.5 and we start with a magic ring with eight single crochets. A hook 3.5 millimeters and we start with a magic ring and eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull the ring very tight and close it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Second round starts with one turning chain and one single crochet into the same stitch into the very first stitch. I'm working over the... what's this? Over the strand I started with so I don't have to sew it and I continue with two single crochets into every stitch. So after a few stitches you may cut the starting thread and I finish with two single crochets into every stitch. Close the round with one slip stitch into the turning chain of the beginning. Next round we need to form an oval and we start with one turning chain and one single crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, two half double crochets into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch, two half double crochets into the next stitch, and again six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and again two half double crochets into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch, two half double crochets into the next stitch and one slip stitch into the turning chain of the beginning. So it's oval now and round four starts with two turning chains and we continue with half double crochets two turning chains and one half double crochet into the same very first stitch. Next stitch one half double crochet. Next stitch two half double crochets. Continue alternating one half double crochet, one half double crochet and two half double crochets. You end the round with one slip stitch into the second turning chain of the beginning. 
In the fifth round we work the ears. We start with one slip stitch one single crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet and one slip stitch. That was top of the head and now five single crochets for the ears, for one ear. One, two, three, four, Five. Turn the work, no turning chain, slip the first stitch and work four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Turn the work, no turning chain, slip the first stitch and three single crochets. Turn the work again, no turning chain, slip the first stitch and two single crochets. Oops. Turn once again, slip one stitch and one single crochet. Chain one and now work five single crochets along the ear down, right at the border. Five or six, there's space for five or six single crochets. Oh, it's a little tight here. And one slip stitch into the gap below the ear. Now continue with one slip, one uh, single crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, and two single crochets, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, one single crochet and one slip stitch. And you have five stitches left for the second ear. Five single crochets and so on. Work it like the first ear. I play it fast forward and again at the tip of the ear one, chain one and work five or six single crochets alongside the border of the ear and one slip stitch into the gap after the ear. Continue with single crochets to the other side of the top of the head. One, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, one slip stitch into the gap before the ear and again five or six single crochets alongside the border of the ear to the tip of the ear. and one slip stitch and cut off the yarn. 
Next we finish the form of the face by surrounding it with single crochets. Start wherever you like to start. I start at the gap under the left ear and you work one single crochet into every stitch. We have enough stitches so we don't need to increase. And don't forget to make a slip stitch in the gaps before the ears and after the ears. So one single crochet into every stitch and at the tip of the ear work one single crochet, chain two and one single crochet. and close the round with one slip stitch into the first stitch. It's very tight here. I have to stretch the stitch a little. One slip stitch into the first stitch. Cut off the yarn. In the second video I show you how to crochet the granny square border.